Good evening, YouTubers. Dave here from Funky Sloth Comic and Collectibles, and today is Friday, March 12th, 2021. I hope everyone is doing well, staying safe, one day closer spring. And with that being said, like I always do, a quick little weather report here from Vermont. Got up to about, <coughs> excuse me, about 40 degrees today. Maybe a little warmer than that, a little breezy, but the snow is melting. Ah, so nice. I'm actually seeing grass on the walkways, which is awesome. Yesterday was up to like 63. The day before it was like 59. So we lost a lot of snow. The rivers are filling up. And three more weeks of the ski season before those morons up there stop skiing on those trails so we can get back to kind of sort of normal around here. Um, yeah, been a long winter. But what is it? Uh, tomorrow night we... Spring ahead. Don't forget that. Spring ahead tomorrow night. So, being today is the second Friday of every month. Today is a comic and collectible show. And with that being said, today I've got all uh, releases within the last month that I get. There's some more i got to find. I have a mess in my room here. I've been doing things, moving things around. i got stuff sitting everywhere. Um, oh, speaking behind me there. You can see right behind me that the Funky Sloth uh, Comic and Collectibles poster there. Um, I just got a quote on my T-shirts, and I'll be showing those off here in a couple weeks. Um, those are um, they're going to be gray with that type of design right there. Right. right. There we are. Right there. I'm going to say right there. That's going to be the design on the T-shirts. I have some business cards. Might even do some face masks and stuff. We'll see. But hopefully we don't have to wear face masks too much longer. Well, who knows? So, again, today's a comic and collectible video, and today I'm going to start off with something my wife got me the other day. I thought it was kind of cute, being that my uh, title is uh, Funky Sloth. She got me a sloth. It's called the Sloth Pooper. <laughs> you wind this thing. You put the candies inside him. You wind it up, and as he walks, he poops out the candy. <sighs> Oh. All right. With that being said, actually, what that noise you just heard is some of the things I'll be showing off. But I'm going to start off this week with I Love Alex Ross. His Alex Ross, the Alex Ross Timeless uh, variants he's been doing for Marvel right now, he's been hitting them out of the park. I mean, there's some that were just kind of boring, but the Silver Surfer and stuff like that was awesome. This is the latest one. The last one was Hawkeye. This is the latest one um, from... Uh, well, it's for May 2021, so, you know, it's still a couple months out for date-wise, but it's been released. It is the Avengers 43 with Vision. That's just my tag on it that i got to take off, so don't worry about that. But, yeah, Avengers 43. Um, this, this, he's awesome. He's awesome. I would love to see Alex Ross go to D.C., and do a classic timeless variants of them, you know, Superman, Batman, you know, Joker. Oh, can you imagine a good Alex Ross portrait like that for a cover? Batman, Robin, Nightwing, Catwoman, Batgirl. Oh, I thought they would be awesome. So my next one is Lady Death, Blasphemy Anthem, one of uh, 21. This is a pretty awesome cover. I like that. I mean, Lady Death stories aren't that great, but the, the artwork is, is awesome. So that's the Lady Death. Next one up. Well, this will never mount to anything money-wise, but I don't collect comics really for that. Eventually, someday, I'm going to have to get rid of things, but not right now. Um, this is Man Bat number one. His murderous meltdown begins here. I love the design of that Man Bat. You see it? That is just so cool. Oh, sorry about the glare. That is just cool. But this man bat number two is sharp. It's really sharp. Man bat number two versus Suicide Squad. Love that half half face on there. That is just awesome. Next one up is Star Wars number 12. <laughs> Little Princess Leia, Han Solo, Chewy. Pretty good book. Next one is Taskmaster number four. The stories have been pretty bad. 
Um, I haven't enjoyed the stories. The artwork's okay. This, I think the next one's the last one. Maybe this one is. But Taskmaster number four. And if people haven't been reading this story, I really think you should. Um, it's Vam American Vampire 1976. This is book number six. It's just been a good read. Any, I love vampire crap anyways. American Vampire was good, and Vampire, American Vampire 1976 has been good. Swamp Thing, number one. X-Men number 18. And I got to tape all my bags down. Notice they're not taped down yet. I was taking them out, looking at the books, to make sure everything was good, reading them. Uh, this is Legion of Superheroes, uh, number two. Eh. Legion of Superheroes, number one, was okay. This one wasn't good at all. But I am not. I haven't been a big fan of the future state, anyways. But I have an issue, and that's called completedism. Completedism. Where I have to have a complete run of everything. So I start them, and I usually finish them out. And these are short ones, so they're easy to figure out, finish out. This is Future State, Batman and Superman, number two. The one that I have kind of enjoyed, the story is okay, the artwork's pretty good. This is Future State Shazam number two. This wasn't too bad. This is the Joker number one. Pretty cool cover. I like him sitting on top of, you know, so it looks like he's sitting on top of Gotham. The you know, Arkham Asylum. Showing that he is the king. I got this book. You know, everybody, I think everybody in the country got this book. Um, this is Berserker 1 by Keanu Reeves. It was okay. Artwork's decent. But really all it is is John Wick. I love John Wick. Don't get me wrong. This is uh, Demon Days X-Men number one. The Peach Pomoko. It's not the variant. This is the actual first cover. I'm the, I mean, a lot of people on the whole Peach Momoko uh, bandwagon. We're okay. She's okay. I'm, you know, I'm not going to go out of my way to get her variants. This is uh, Generations Forged number one. Kind of cool cover. I have not had a chance to read this book yet, though. I will get to that. Here's Future State, the next Batman. Number four. The story has not been good. The artwork is... It's okay. Um, Batman Urban Legends, number one. I did read this. Wasn't bad. Um, pretty cool cover. I like that Batman. I love Batman. Um, I don't have a lot of uh, golden or silver age Batman. I got a lot of bronze. I really, really started uh, collecting Batman more in the 90s. A lot of people don't think that's good stuff, but I, I didn't mind it. I actually didn't mind the new 52, and I, I've enjoyed the Rebirth run. Which will be coming up here, Batman. But this is Batman Catwoman, number three. I like this. The artwork has been good. Artwork's been good. The stories have been decent. This one, so you see, this is a Batman heavy run that I'm showing off today. This is Batman 106. Um, this wasn't bad. The new character, I'm not going to give anything away. The new character is pretty cool. We'll see where it goes with it. You know, my issue is everything nowadays is. First appearances, first appearance this, first appearance that, and people go out and they just hoard up the uh, copies and they flip them on eBay for ridiculous prices. But you know what? Hey, that's capitalism. You want to do that? That's your right. I don't do it, but hey, you want to go out there and do it? Go for it. This is a run that I, I've been forgetting to show off. One, two, and three I showed off a while ago. But I like this. I like the different artwork, but this is Batman the Avengers Continues. Ventures Continues, number four. Batman Adventures continue. Batman Adventures continue. Number five. I like that cover. That's a cool Batman. And classic Joker. Batman: The Adventures continue. Number six. 
I like the look of both Batman and Robin there. Batman the Adventures continue number seven. And the last one of the series, Batman the Adventures continues number eight. Everybody knows, if you've been watching my channels, I'm, I love Christmas, Halloween, holiday uh, covers. And the Batman the Adventures continue number eight is a Christmas cover. And it has uh, Poison Ivy, Harley Quinn, and then you've got Batman tied up in the Christmas garland there. Great little stockings. I mean, it's just an awesome Christmas cover. I love that cover. <laughs> I love that cover. And if people have not been reading this, I really highly recommend this series. This has been real good. This is from Dark Horse. This is the uh, Norse mythology series. It's awesome. The artwork's good. The stories are cool. I mean, it's just good. If you're into any of that Norse mythology, which I am anyways, I mean, you know, I'm... I did my ancestry and all that stuff. I'm probably a good 90% Northern European, Irish, Scottish, Norwegian, German, yeah, Icelandic. I'm about as uh, Northern European bloodline as you can get. So that's it for the comics this week. I got some stuff I want to do. Show, I do want to show off. First off, I'm going to show off some cool uh, cups, glasses here that I'm going to show off real quick. Um. I showed off some glasses there a couple weeks ago. These are a couple more, but these are these are the modern glasses. These are from 2019 to 2020, and I think they're still producing them, but it doesn't matter to me. I see these, and I love these. So these are from, uh, uh, what are they, Toon Tumblers? And you can actually go on there online and get them. I get them at my comic shop. Yeah, it's like a buck more than if I go online, but online you got to pay shipping and all that stuff. But these are pretty cool. This is the Hulk. And that's what your back of your glasses look like. I love glassware. Uh, let's see. The next one. It's a great Captain America. Captain America. It's just awesome. You know, I think they're like 11, 11 bucks. Every time I go down to my comic store, I pick up one or two. Um, this is, I'm hoping... That this is the outfit they use for Moon Knight when they do the series right there. That cool. So that's Moon Knight. Um, Robin looks good. It's that classic old Robin. Right there. So remember, Toon Tumblers. And they got a whole bunch of stuff. I don't just do... Uh, uh, superhero stuff. They got a bunch of different stuff. Harry Potter, all that stuff. Uh, and this is Batman. Great classic look at bait, Batman right there. So, Toon Tumblers. Next stuff I'm going to show is a couple uh, Blu-rays I got that I got these on sale and when I can get Blu-ray on sale or 4K on sale, I'll pick it up. You know, this one is brand new. Jurassic Park, one of the greatest movies ever made. Godzilla, King of the Monsters. They were both on clearance for a buck fifty. Brand new. <laughs> Guess what? I will buy that all day. And then, in my opinion, Sylvester Stallone's best movie is Stallone's First Blood. And it's a steel book. Yeah. So, cool great movie it, it's the best out of that series by far and it's one of his best movies next stuff i'm going to show you is i have uh, i gotta get volume six but i picked up the uh boys omnibuses and then what are they brand new they say they're brand new they're going for 30 bucks 29.99 i didn't pay that i paid 10 bucks a book these things are in mint shape. Number one. Number two. You see, they're pretty good sized books. Number three. Number four. 
I was late to the bandwagon on the boys uh, for comics. So instead of buying all the comics, I kept I saw these omnibuses and I saw them on sale at a place and I picked them up. <clears throat> and number five, I do need to get number six, so I'll find that somewhere. But <laughs> the artwork is it's definitely not kid-friendly, kid as the show is not kid-friendly. So looking forward to season three. It's been such a good show. My next couple things, it's going to be some Funko Pops that I end up buying. I know a lot of people don't buy, like Pops, but I got these for four bucks a piece. First one is uh, Hydro Man from the Spider-Man Fire From Home, uh, number 475. It says $7.99, but it's four bucks. Right there. Everything is in excellent shape. Next one is... Could really care less about this pop, but I had the others from the run, so I'm like, okay, I gotta get it. And this is from Ant Man and the Wasp, um, pop number 344, Janet Van Dyne. I enjoyed, I enjoyed Ant Man number one and Ant Man and the Wasp. I think they're underrated. This pop is awesome, especially with everything that's going on with the Wand Division, how popular it was for four bucks. This is the 80th, 80 year. Um, run for Marvel. This is Scarlet Witch, number 552. That pop is in great shape and it's so cool. Next one is from Masters of the Universe Web Store. This thing is, again, four bucks and the number 997. Right there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Love Masters of the Universe. I really wish they'd do a live action movie and get it right. Next one, the movie sucked, but Dark Phoenix, X Men 422. Next one, just to finish my run of the Fantastic Four pop run, is uh, Herbie number four, uh, 564. Remember Herbie the Robot? <laughs> Well, I wish I could get that rid of that little congestion I have in my chest there. And this is uh, the original Human Torch, another Marvel 80 Years Pop, number 501. Let's see. Yeah, we got a little bit more time. So I'm going to show off a couple uh, Transformers I got in a collection. Here's Starfire. These are original. I mean, original. These are Generation 1. All, all the little pieces are in a bag. And all this stuff, if you know anybody, if they're interested, I will be possibly selling off this stuff. But that's a G1 right there. All his accessories are in a box. And here you go. Oh, let me open that up close that. Another G1 right there. I love these. Another Optimus. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. I love the Transformers, but I'm running out of room for stuff, and I'm thinking about some selling some stuff off. And yeah, we're under 20 minutes, so I'll show off a couple of uh, um, Hot Wheels that I got in a yard sale last year. These things were going for like four or five bucks in the store. I got them for a buck each. Um, this is the Hot Wheels Batman Rebirth character car. Can you see that? Let's see. Um, the Mira uh, character car. That's going to be interesting. You keep hearing that Emma, I mean, uh, what's her name? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm having a brain cramp. Uh, that she got fired from it. But. Uh, some people say she did. Some people say it didn't. Big outlets are saying no. But we'll see. This is the Aquaman character car. And we'll do two more. Back. This is the Iron Man character car. Said so I got these for a buck. These things are in, never been out of the box. They're in really good shape. The Punisher. Punisher character car. That one's cool. This 
It's a good thing about yard sales. You can get some really good deals at yard sales. <laughs> the Rocket Raccoon character car. The Shazam character car. You know, people pay full price and then they put them in a yard sale and you get them for a buck. I'll buy it for a dollar. Not any issue with that. The Robin's a pretty cool car. This is the Robin 2.0T character, <coughs> character car. Still got that crap in my throat. I can't get rid of it. It was much better than it was there last weekend when I spent time at the hospital. Uh, this is the Star Lord character car. Nah, we got three left, so what the hell? Uh, what do we got here? The Joker, Hot Rod. Hawkman, one of my favorite characters of all time, and his comic run just stopped, so I'm hoping they pick that up somewhere. This is Hawkman. Can't wait to see what they do with Hawkman in the Black Adam movie. That'll be cool. Wonder Woman. This is a Wonder Woman movie, not Wonder Woman 84, which was not very good. You saw my review on that. That's one of my first videos I ever did. It was a Wonder Woman 84 review. And the last thing for tonight. Ugh. Ugh. Captain Marvel. I'm hoping they do something with that movie. Get rid of Brie Larson. Have her come back and then maybe push her off to a different character. Maybe I actually have Photon, Monica Rambeau do it. So anyways, folks, that's my uh, little video for tonight. Uh, just some reminders that uh, Sunday will be my uh, uh, movie TV talk. There's some really good subjects this week. And also a reminder, next week, and I'll remind you on Sunday, next week, Thursday, is the Justice League Snyder Cut coming out. And then on Friday, Winter Soldier... Uh, the Falcon and Winter Soldier TV show for Marvel comes out. <clears throat> so I'll remind you of that on Sunday. But well, Sunday is my movie TV talk. And next Friday will be my top 16 list again. My top 16 list for next week will be my top 16 Western movies. Western movies. So, you know, Silverado, The Searchers, all those good old classics and some modern stuff. All right, guys. Remember, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Remember, subscri sub subscribing is free. Doesn't cost you a thing. Um, hit um, the notification bell so you see my stuff come up. And share it if you'd like. Again, I hope everybody's staying safe, doing well. Remember, collect what you like to collect and enjoy it. Everybody, have a good night.